Welcome back to the channel everyone. The Santa Maria here and I'm excited about this video that we're doing today. This is a video I have really actually put off time and time again. I've been needing to do this video but the timing never just seemed right on it but today feels like the correct day. So yes we're doing it. Today we are doing dedicated reviews. Arguably the most talked about scent on YouTube at this point in time and that is none other than Mason Francis Kirk Jean's Baccarat Rouge 540 and we're talking about the Eau de Parfum, the original as well as the extract de Parfum today. So yes, you're technically about to get a two-in-one dedicated review because yeah, you can't go anywhere in fragrance community and not see this scent talked about or everybody's trying to compare it to it and claim that it smells like it. We're gonna talk about all of that today. But alas, before we get into these dedicated reviews as well as comparison, elves, you know what time it is, first things first. Lipstick of the day, everyone. We went with a lovely, bold pink and fuchsia. And since we're talking niche, high-end perfume, we're doing niche, high-end lipstick and makeup. So we're doing Pat McGrath's. This is matte trance lipstick in extravaganza. That's what we're rocking today. So yes, we're going all the way looks today, all the way around. <laughs> Next up for fragrance of the day, another one of my favorite high-end babies. This one is divine. It doesn't get enough love though, in my opinion, but I think it's amazing. And this goes to none other than Tom Ford's Bitter Peach. This is our fragrance of the day because it was a little warm today. And yeah, Bitter Peach shines in warm weather. Mm, excellent. So, all right, elves, let's get into this dedicated review and comparison of Baccarat Rouge 540. So, as always, when it comes to dedicated reviews, we give a breakdown overview of the scent as well as we do the rating system. So, I will break down the rating system as needed. When it comes to rating fragrances, we base them on mood, and that is simply how does this fragrance make me feel? Next up, we have strength, and this is on a scale of one to 10, with one being just water, basically, and then 10 being a powerhouse nuclear eternal fragrance that lasts and lasts and lasts, even after I wash it. <laughs> Longevity, you all, longevity is ours. It lasted on me that I could smell it or at least smell it on my skin as well as others possibly saying they smell it on me. That's talked about in the longevity section. And then the last area, which is arguably the most um, important for a lot of people, and that is simply, is this a compliment getting scent? And yes, <laughs> this one answered, this one is kind of answered already, hence why we're doing the video. But alas, yes, compliment getting factor is the last category. So now you have the breakdown on how we rate fragrances. So yeah, let's get into it. We are going to start with the one that started it all, the original. And that is none other than Mason Francis Kirk Jean's Baccarat Rouge 540, the Eau de Parfum. So just a quick backstory. You would think this fragrance came out this year, but it didn't. This fragrance came out in 2015. So this fragrance has been out for over five years, but the way it's still talked about, you would think it just dropped last night. <laughs> and it comes in four sizes. It comes in the three um, travel size vials of 0 0.37 fluid ounces, and that retails for $195. They have the new size, which is the 1.2 fluid ounce, and that is $195 as well. Then we have the standard size, which is the 2.4 fluid ounce, and that size is $325. And then there's the Big Daddy size, and that is the 6.8 fluids out size, and that costs $625. So yes, welcome to niche world, welcome to high-end perfume, yes. And that's something that, that is um, quite common about this scent, I must say. This is a lot of people's intro into niche world of perfume. It was actually my introduction into niche perfume. When I say niche, meaning the difference, the alternative is designer perfume. So think your Dior's, your Chanel's, that type of thing. Niche, is we get into people that focus only on perfume. They don't make nothing else, they don't make no clothes, they don't make nothing else. Niche is, this is what we do, this is all we gonna do. <laughs> so I wanted to give that disclaimer. But yes, Macy's Francis Kirk Jean's Baccarat Rouge 540 EDP is a lot of people's introduction into the niche world. So that's why this one is so significant to a lot of us. And the notes in this scent are, and these are the current notes as listed on the website. And I have to say this too, with fragrances, especially your niche ones over time, especially the longer they've been out, they do undergo a reformulation. So some of the notes that were available, say when they first came out, 
necessarily might not necessarily be the notes in your current batch that you buy today so i have to say that as i read these notes so as of today's notes which is april 2022 the notes are hedion ambroxan cedar and saffron so those are your notes so now let's get into the rating system and i will say oh of course i have to showcase uh yeah I have the standard size, the 2.5 fluid ounce bottle, and you see this dent, don't you? <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, I have worn this scent a whole lot, so I don't even have to spray this scent to know about it, how I feel about it. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, but for the sake of the video, I shall, because that's what we do here doing the dedicated fragrance reviews. Now my filming station is just going to smell like Baccarat for the rest of the week. <laughs> so now let's get into the rating system with the first area, the first category, and that is mood. How does this scent make me feel? You all, true story. I have been on this scent and I've known about it since 2019. And I remember literally when I first smelled this scent, I was actually in the process of shopping for something for Father's Day at the moment. And the essay said, hey, have you heard about the new fragrances that we just got in at a local boutique in my city? And I said, what are you talking about? And they was like, we just got in a um, new Mason Francis Kirkjean and specifically the Baccarat Rouge 540. And I was like, no, but I like fragrance. I've always liked fragrances. I said, okay, let me check it out. So I had made a purchase of something else again. It was Father's Day and they put me some samples in the bag. It was like, smell it. You will thank me later. You all, I smelled this scent for the first time and it arrested me. I was like, oh my goodness, I have never smelled this scent. And I knew I had to have it at some point. So this is the type of scent that this was a love at first sniff. So when we talk about mood, how does this scent make me feel? It arrests me, it's love at first sight. This is how this scent makes me feel. And it's just, it makes you fall head over heels. So that is the mood of this scent. And I'm thankful that luckily, roughly a year later in 2022, right? As the world has just shut down, I ended up getting this bottle as a gift for my birthday. So super excited, very significant to me. Love this bottle. So now let's get into the strength of this scent. Believe it or not, this is not a strong scent. It's not. This scent, honestly, on skin, it's about a seven. So it's not super duper strong. Yes, you do smell it, but it's not over the top, knock you out. Like, oh my goodness, what are you wearing? Did you put the whole bottle on? It's not that strong. So it's a seven. Now let's talk about longevity. However, even though you all, it's not a strong powerhouse scent, the longevity of this lasts. Like it really, really lasts. This is one of those scents that you spray it on. And then as you go about your day, you might not smell it anymore. People become agnostic to it, but it's one of those scents that right as you're about to like take your clothes out for the day and whatnot, then you'll get a whiff of it. And you're like, oh, wait, it does last. So this scent, if it lasts eight hours a day, plus sometimes, eight hours plus, depending on your circumstance, this is not a scent that you really have to babysit. Now you may not smell it, but trust and believe, others will let you know that you're wearing it. Now let's talk about compliment getting factor. And this is an absolutely yes. This is a certified head turning scent. And that's what makes this scent so cool and so talked about. And this is why everybody keeps trying to replicate it and claim that they got the latest, greatest version of Baccarat Rouge 540. It's not true because honey, there's only one. It's only one. I know, and I have to address this right now. People try to say that like Ariana Cloud smells like it. In other words, I smelled that and I was like, uh, they're lying to you? No. People are saying Burberry Her, all of that. It sounds good if it makes you sleep better at night, you can tell yourself that, but honey, there's only one Baccarat Rouge 540. It is what it is, and everybody is trying to duplicate it for a reason. Yes, you can dupe it all you want, but they're still the original. And I believe in owning the original. So that's my little spill on that. So fabulous scent, highly recommend. Let's shift over to its upgraded big sister. We're really little sister, but when we talk about strength and power, it's the big sister. And that is none other than the Macy's Francis Kirk Jean's Baccarat Rouge Extrait, the parfum. So yes, they started with the EDP, you all, and then they saw how amazing the scent was and they decided, you know what, we're gonna make an extrait version of it. And wow, the rest is history. And then we got the lovely extract, which comes in the red bottle. So that's something I will say. Check that out. Original is the clear bottle. 
and then the x-ray is the red bottle so that is how you can tell these just that's how you can tell the difference just by eyeballing these now let's get into the details for the x-ray de parfum so this one came out two years later from the original edp so this one was released in 2017 so again this is a scent that's now pushing five years old so these are not new scents you all even though they have the community in a chokehold you would think they were brand new this one also comes in four sizes. It comes in the three by 0.37 fluid ounce, which is the, which costs $310. Then the 1.2 fluid ounce is $310. The standard size, which is the one that I own right here in the square bottle, the standard 2.4 fluid ounce, this costs $435. And then the big daddy size, which is 6.8 fluid ounce, that one retails for $845. Yes, I had to sound like Jackie on that one. <laughs> yeah, this this is already expensive, but yeah, the X-ray costs even more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and get that out your system because that's how I felt when I first found it. I was like, wait a minute, what? Oh, well, but I still needed it. <laughs> so for the notes, again, I have to say, since undergo formulations and I'm reading the most current um, set of notes that are available as via the official Mason Francis Kirkshawn's website. So the notes as of April 22 are, let's see, saffron, cashmere, ambroxan, cedar, and jasmine. I will say, yes, the notes have changed from when I got my bottle. They used to be almond in here. So put a bookmark in that. But yes, I wanted to read you all the current notes. So again, let's get into the rating system. So let me go ahead and spray some on our test strip for you all. Yeah, it's definitely gonna smell like Baccarat over here for a week, for sure. <laughs> Let that dry down. This is another scent that I have worn a lot because again, I've owned these for two years. Oh, I don't know if I told y'all. So like I said, I got the original one on my birthday two years ago. I also ended up getting this one on that very same birthday. So yes, you all, I had a Baccarat field birthday. I literally got both of these for my 2020 birthday. So yes, <laughs> they've literally been in my collection the same amount of time. And as you can see, I have a dent in this one. So yes, I wear it a lot. This is not a scent that will collect dust in my collection at all. <laughs> oh man, I just smelled it. Oh some about it so now let's get into the rating system so for the mood how does this scent make me feel oh you all the x-ray version the x-ray version just makes me feel like i got old oil tycoon money yes i feel like i'm a descendant of a rockefeller or something when i smell this this is definitely more decadent more rich and i'm loving it so that is the mood here now strength this one definitely has more body to it it's thicker it's definitely thicker and with that being said the strength of this one this one is a step up it's a soft strength so this is an eight on a scale of one to ten the strength of this one is an eight strong powerhouse but soft powerhouse this is not a knock you out type of sense it's not that strong but it is strong so as far as this is an eight so it is just a little bit stronger to me than the original now here right here longevity let me tell you something this right here lasts for eternity let me tell you something the x-ray the x-ray is everlasting this hugs you and it hugs your clothes until no end I will dry clean something and still smell the extract. This lasts forever. This is amazing. So it's something about how, again, it's not the strongest perfume that I own or have ever smelled, but it lasts and lasts and lasts. So to be fair with their price tag, you are getting your money's worth. I can't even argue that. You get your money's worth for the longevity in this scent. Compliment getting factor, last category. Absolutely yes. Absolutely yes. Absolutely yes. I have to say that three times. If you all recall from my elves that have been with me, this was my number one most complimented scent of 2021. So yeah, this is a certified complimenting getting scent. For that reason, I will always have a bottle of the X-ray for sure in my collection. So now for the part that you all care about, let's compare the two because that's what everybody always wants to know. Which one is better or worse? Do I need to have both of them? 
does it matter or whatnot and okay we're gonna talk about that now so now let's compare for the sake of time and to abbreviate the main differences to me or my opinion is that the edp is more light and airy it's more whimsical it's more fun whereas to me the x-ray is more woodier and it's more nutty you can definitely smell that almondy note again mine has the batch that had the almondy note in it ah oh, you definitely smell it and then something else too i would say now season wise to me i i reach for this scent i think it's more appropriate for the spring and the summer a lot of people wear this year round as their signature scent i'm talking about the edp version at this moment this is a lot of people I know signature scent. In fact, my cousin just told me she just got the candle and the body lotion for it today when we were um, texting earlier. So yeah, it's her signature scent. I will say though, now when it comes to the X-ray version to me, because it's, again, I said it's thicker. You feel it, it's a lot more going on. It has more body to it. To me, this is better in colder weather. This is a bomb beast in autumn and especially in winter to me. Love the extra in colder weather. But again, some people wear it year round. But to me, because of that thickness again, this goes better in cold weather because again, it gets 100 degrees in my area. And yeah, this could choke somebody out. Mainly me. And of course now, the main thing I know a lot of people are gonna zoom in on is yes, the EDP is more affordable. And keep in mind, affordability is such a relative term, especially when we're talking about expensive niche perfumes. But for the sake of this conversation, the EDP is the more affordable one. And of course, the extra one is more expensive. Now, uh, another thing, when we talk about occasions and where we're wearing things to, again, the EDP version to me is more casual. I literally would throw this on with a white t-shirt. This is a blind reach for me when I just don't know what I want to wear. It's easy to throw on, it's effortless, it's casual, whatever. And I will, I love to wear this on Fridays, actually. I've never noticed it however to me when it comes to the x-ray i don't just reach for my x-ray every day like that my x-ray i gotta be going somewhere i gotta have an event i need to be going to steak or something i need to have an occasion this is just more elevated more upscale to me so this is more special occasion in my opinion now i will say too now something else when it comes to how this scent performs to me the edp hugs clothes better than it hugs skin in my opinion whereas the extra hugs everything i don't care what it lands on it's going to hug it and you're even going to see the um the oils and it sit on your skin because again this is more concentrated it's stronger it's more potent so it plays no games so to me that is the breakdown of the two comparing the two all in one video and personally do i think you need both of them and you have to ask yourself where am i going what is my purpose for wearing this scent and if you say more casual just to throw on i want to have it as my signature then i would go with the edp now, if you're thinking, oh, I want to wear it when I'm going out, I want a special occasion, I really want to be different, I want to make an everlasting impression, then you need to go straight to me. That's just the breakdown in my opinion. But alas, if you're a true frag head like I am, you're going to end up with both. Because this is one of those scents to me that a lot of us just end up with both of them. It's kind of how that works. I will say again, I was fortunate and blessed that I ended up being gifted both of these on my birthday two years ago. So that is why I have both of them. Would I repurchase these again? Y'all, yes I would because again, check out the dents. Check out the dents. So these are fragrances I do wear and y'all know how many fragrances I seem to have. I do fragrance of the day here. So yes, these are forever fragrances in my collection and I will continue to own both of them. So I will say too right now, Elves, that Saks has fragrances on sale and Nordstrom is also price matching with fragrances. So this is your time for what I have seen at the time I'm filming this video, I have to emphasize that, to pick up your Baccarat Rouges or anything else that's like expensive right now. It's a wonderful time to get 15% off from what I have seen, but yeah. Alas, the scent is great no matter what, sale or no sale. I think it's worth it. I think it's amazing. and. Everybody can try to duplicate, but they always fall short in my opinion. There's only one Baccarat, it's just what it is. So alas, let me know what you think else in the comments below. Are you digging this scent? Has it been on your radar or do you own it? Cause at this point, so many people own this scent, like it's amazing. And I know it as soon as I smell it, whenever I'm out. I literally went to a dinner party the other night and I smelled my cousin. I said, you wearing Baccarat tonight? She said, I am. <laughs> So yes, it's a beautiful scent. I highly think it's worth the hype and it's a forever in my collection. So let me know what you think as always. And until next time, Elves, I will catch y'all next video. Bye y'all.